information that we created in our session files. So what happens is in the session file, what we're able to do is we can look at the part just like we did before, right? But then we can also create snapshots. And each one of these snapshots contain what we're doing at that moment in time so we can quickly go back uh, to that snapshot, right? So if I double click on another snapshot, it gives me a different view. Double click on this snapshot, it gives me more views, right, of, of section view, right? So as I go through, I can look at all these different things. Right. Can we, so let's back up. can we try a real case uh, scenario here? Yeah, sure. Uh, it, it, what back, do you mean? Go back to your complete assembly. Okay. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Okay. okay. Yeah, say I want to zoom in and measure the gap between the rotor and the pad. Between these two? Yep, the rotor and the pad, the blue, bluish green color and the rotor. Oh, right in here, right in here. So I want the interrogation, play. yep, uh, and I'm going to get to that. So what we're doing is right now, uh, 3D measurement, we have it here, right? And I also have a 3D selection tool. So I can either um, zoom in and select an edge, a vertex, or surface. So really what I want to do is, I want a, a, a two-way dimension, a linear dimension. I'm going to grab that surface, swing around, grab that surface, and then I get my dimension. So what I can do is, let's just say, all I want to do is be able to see those two parts, right? I can select that guy and that pad because these are the pieces that I want to kind of deal with, right? Once I select those two, I can just say select it only, and it's only going to give me those two parts so I can see, right? So let's take a look at this a little bit deeper, and let's just say I want to look at a section view. Right? It creates a section view, and with this section view, I've got the capability of being able to move this thing up and down to where I think I want to measure, right? Or I can actually, you know, do things like position this, align plane between two points, uh, and I can select a point here and a point here, right? It's going to align it there. I can also say, you know, right now we're moving linearly about the part. And that might not, you know, I might need some different type of control. Um, I can just come in and say create a section along with this edge. And what that's going to do is create another section here. And now when I rotate, uh, move that, it's going to rotate about that edge. So now I can interrogate this part for whatever I need. Okay, so let's go back in here. Let's delete that for now. And... You know, and let's take a little deeper look into this section here. So now that I have this section here, right, I can actually just pop it up here in a play. I can either, I need to enable that, right? I can cut it away so I can create hatching here so I can look at the different parts that I'm looking at, right? I can flip it the other direction, right, so I can see a little bit more. And from here, I'll just say, look at the plane view. I'll go ahead and zoom in and be able to see that gap a little bit different, right? Here's my dimension that I put in there earlier, right? So let's say this is something that we want to interrogate a little bit deeper. And I know I'm going to want to send this file off to somebody else, right? I can kind of come in here and just create a snapshot of that view that I'm that's in question so whenever I bounce over to another snapshot I can see these type of things or go back to the one that I need instead of having to go recreate all that geometry so everything is there right being able to view a markup right I can basically just say hey, I want to tag something and I want to text um, I don't want to fill anything in 
but you know, so here's the, here's the, the the part in question. I can just type, put something in there, and I say. Right, and now I can, you know, basically add some comments to that, saying, you know, we need to verify that that gap. So it's pretty quick, pretty simple, you know, to be able to interrogate different things. And also, what we need to do is, you know, maybe we're working with some some other type of geometry that might not have a lot of intelligence in it. So if we go into my my 2D capture here, right? So basically, what we've done is I apologize. Is what we, what we can do is what was that? Sorry, that was a slight mark. Keep going. Right. So now that I have this view up in, in here, I can right click on that and I can say send to 2D. So it's actually going to create a 2D image of that section alone. And then I have some 2D tools that I can go ahead and uh, you know, measure a vector line. Right. So we have a whole bunch of different tools that we can. What was that? I could do a markup on the 2D. I can do a markup as well, right? So here's, I can just create a, uh, another markup. Right, and then add a little line from there to there. Right. If if that's not the type that I want, I can look at the leader. I can change, you know, whatever I want here. So I'll just say, call this ten, ten. Right. So two D markups is a really good way to you know visualize something, um, you know, to to drill into a certain area of a cross section. Right. Now, a lot of times, in let's say you get a a vector base or even a raster based dimension or drawing that you get from a customer or something that really doesn't have too much intelligence to it. If you know any of uh, one of the dimensions, right? Like, let's say, say, you know, if you know this distance right here, this thickness, right? You can actually calibrate a raster image so that based on one distance, you can actually scale that drawing or begin to get real dimensions from your different drawing uh, from the different parts. Right. But you need to know what that you know a single dimension so, is. So if I get a uh, say a typical stamping and the only dimension I know is the thickness of the material. Yeah. I could I can project off of that thickness of material or yeah so if you're dealing with like geometry it's a 3d geometry you won't have to um, do a calibration but if you're dealing with a flat 2d drawing like a CGM drawing that comes out of Katia or something like that right That's you can actually yeah. come in here and say calibrate vector you can grab this grab that right and if you know what that value is, right, if I change this right now, it's going to say, based on these two points, right, everything else is going to be relative to it. Because I know that this distance from here to here is whatever I put in. Okay. Right, so now you've calibrated this 2D drawing so that you can get um, some pretty precise dimensioning out of it. Right. But again, if you're using 3D geometry, a JT, an X file, um, usually, I just step um, all those type of 3D geometries. You won't have to do this, but if it is a 2D drawing you're dealing with, you can actually come in and, and calibrate um, what that dimension is, or w w what the scale of the dimensions are going to be. 
So if somebody sent us a PDF file of 2D drawing,